In this Autodesk Maya tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly model a golf ball with three-dimensional dimples all over the surface. We'll do this using a selection set in Maya and using a platonic solid. To get a platonic solid in Maya, go to the polygon modeling shelf and click platonic solid. One will pop up right in the middle. Then we'll go to the attribute editor and we'll click on polyplatonic one. We need to change the radius, so we'll change the radius to 2.135. That's because a real golf ball has a diameter of 4.27, and this is half of that. We also want to change the subdivision mode to triangles, and we'll change the subdivisions to 9. Now we have a more round golf ball. Let's go back to P platonic 1, and then we're going to translate it up the same distance of our radius. We can translate it up 2.135. This will place it on the bottom of the grid. We can also go ahead and relabel it. Now, click and hold with your right mouse button and go to Edge Mode. Select all of the edges. Then go to the Create menu at the top, Sets, Set. This creates a selection set of all these edges. Then hold right mouse button and go back to Object Mode. Click your object. And then in the Modeling Toolkit, Click Smooth. We only need one division. Select our object again, then in your outliner, and if you don't see your outliner, you can click this icon on the left, click your set, then right click, select set members. Then I can hold Shift and right mouse button, and I can delete all the edges. Now if I click, I have these cool hexagons on my golf ball. Next, hold right mouse button and go to face mode. Double click to select all of the faces, then press Ctrl or Command E to extrude. It's important that we uncheck Keep Faces Together. So now with Keep Faces Together turned off, click one of the little scale cubes. This brings up the blue scale cube in the middle so we can scale universally. I'm scaling here, but it's very difficult to control. We can bring up our channel box, which is up in the right hand corner here, and then we can dock it right here next to our attribute editor. In the channel box, we can go ahead and scale this all at one time. Here we have local scale X, Y, and Z. If I shift click all of these, I can type 0.95 and then press enter. It will automatically scale them all the same. We need to extrude one more time. So I'll press G on my keyboard to repeat the action. This time I need to click the scale cube again. And then when I'm scaling, I'm going to go ahead and scale the local scale down to zero. I can click in the channel box, shift click, press zero, then press enter. After we've scaled everything down to zero, we need to change the local translate Z. So we're gonna type negative 0.04. This pushes in the surface of the golf ball dimples. You can see that here. Now we're gonna go to object mode, right click object mode, then we need to freeze the transformations. You can do that by clicking the 000 button up at the top here. This freezes all of the transformations. So now we can go ahead and right click vertex, select all of the vertices, then hold shift right mouse button, merge vertices, merge vertices. Notice that many of the vertices welded together. That's because we need to change the distance threshold. Since we're making this golf ball at real world scale, we need to change this. Right now it's 0 0.010. We can change that to 0 0.05 and that should work fine. Notice now we have all the little dimples of our golf ball. We can press Q then off select. Right click and go to object mode. Now press 3 to smooth. Off click. Now we have a pretty cool golf ball with all of its dimples all over the surface. Next we need to go ahead and apply a material. Select your golf ball, right click, Assign new material, click an AI standard surface. And now we have a surface on here. We can go ahead and click Arnold, and then we can add a sky dome light and then open up the Arnold render view, click play, and we should see our golf ball. We can orbit around a bit, depending on where we want to be for our golf ball, zoom out a bit, and that looks pretty great. You can then change the specular amount and the different surface textures to make your golf ball look even cooler. Hopefully this lets you model a three-dimensional golf ball very quickly in Maya 
to use in any of your modeling or animation projects. Happy 3D modeling.